Alright everybody, this is uh, my tutorial on how to use our uh, our uh, PBR converter tool. Uh, once you download the package, it will be inside this editor, editor tools uh, section. It's called PBR converter version something. Right now we're on version 1. Um, I've got two of the Ethan characters from one of the Unity tutorials uh, games, the stealth game I believe it was. And I've got two versions here. One's going to be the non-PBR. We'll leave that as is. And then we've got the PBR version that we're going to make PBR so we can see the difference between the two in the end. I'm using a skybox that I took from the bar, uh, the blacksmith demo. You can download that as well. Uh, but we're going to include one of these inside the project. In fact, we'll do that right now. All right, so you'll find those inside the demo items Unity folder along with all the other stuff we have from Unity for this uh, demo. Uh, inside the demo items SFB or SFB you'll find all the um, the demo masks that we're going to make today. Anything I make during this I'll leave in here so you can check it out later. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, we, we let's look at the uh, material that we're going to be using. Uh, this is in the editor tools, PBR converter. This is not something you're going to be using um, in runtime, you're only going to be using it in the editor. Uh, you can make duplicates if you'd like uh, to use it uh, on multiple items. For my purposes, we're going to use it multiple times, but we'll just replace everything as we go along, and we'll do it one item, one material at a time. So uh, it basically takes in uh, a bunch of maps, whatever maps you might already have. Um, most of the time, it's just going to be an albedo, which is a diffuse and a normal map, um, and then from that we can add. Uh, custom maps for roughness, metallic, AO, and height. If you happen to have those, most of you will not. The whole point is, of course, to create those from um, a legacy texture and material. Uh, next, we have our options for each material type. The color value here, RGB, is the color of the color ID mask that we're going to be making. So we've got black, um, red, green, blue, and I believe that's cyan or magenta, one of the two. Or maybe it's yellow. Uh, either way, red and green at full value, blue at no value. Um, and we have options to check whether or not they're, those colors are metallic and a roughness slider for each one. So um, let's go ahead and just start working with this so you can see how, uh, how it works. Let's first do maybe the uh, body. Uh, inside the body we have well yeah inside the body we have all these different materials so we're gonna start with the skin uh, in the skin we have uh, this diffuse here which we'll load up in Photoshop this is our texture map uh, so we've got his skin there and his hair and his eyeballs and all the other parts um, since we have separate materials for each we have a lot of uh, leeway in, in how we're going how we use these masks so I'm gonna speed the video through but in essence I'm going to make a color ID mask with the skin we really only have the skin in the hair I believe um, in fact let's double check that just uh, let's just remove this for now and see what disappears so it's actually just the skin so we actually don't need to make a color ID at all what we're going to do uh, since this is only one material uh, we're going to bring into that empty element the uh, our PBR converter and of course it's black now because we have no data so uh, our body had the skin material uh, this this pattern right here so we're gonna um, go to our converter and we're gonna bring in the diffuse pattern into our albedo and the normal map pattern where's that right here Cyber Kid, all right, and so now it's you know it's it's looking like it's part of Unity 5 now, but if, of course it's shiny because uh, we have no details for anything else. Um, since we don't need a color ID, uh, uh, it's only one thing. We're going to go to our SFA Studios here, uh, material or um, items, and use our pure black for the color map. That way, we can control. Uh, the entire thing with just this one slider. As you see here, as we go through, uh, we can d dictate how rough the skin is. The more rough it is, the more the light will reflect off of it. If it was metal, we could 
have it be metallic there but of course uh, Ethan is not made of metal he's made of skin so if you want to look up the actual skin value for roughness you can otherwise eyeball it to your own li liking uh, for your own scene so we'll just leave it right there and that's all we have to do for the skin um, now we do need to save it though because we're not going to use this material as a runtime so now let's select the top level of the PBR conver converter uh, material Unity likes to generate if you see it turn black and say generating it does that more often than it really needs to uh, we would need to export this as a material we can use with the standard shader so just use our tool to save texture there's a hotkey for it as well it's under the windows menu click that make sure the top level is selected when prompted choose export here that's a temporary directory we create and it will be destroyed before the end of this process select that and wait just a moment for uh, unity to make all the maps and then import the maps and create the material uh, that we'll use on the skin. So now we have a new folder and our underneath our PBR converter. It's called. Um, I'll bring this over here. It's called PBR converter and it's uh, has a timestamp on it so that when we make multiple copies, they don't uh, they don't overwrite each other. So we're going to call this um, skin. That way we keep it. Uh, 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 to something that makes sense for our project. So here's the material now. It's a standard shader material and we've pre-populated the, uh, the various aspects, uh, the various maps. Now uh, for our purpose we can use the height map um, but I'm probably gonna take it off. But first let's just uh, move this on here. Um, we're gonna rename this to be uh, uh, SFB skin. That way we keep things organized in our head. Place that there and now look at the skin and we have uh, PBR skin. One thing to, to, to double check, make sure that the metallic roughness got put in. There's a bug uh, that sometimes it, the Unity will use regular metallic instead of metallic roughness. The, the reason we have the metallic roughness is because there's actually a real bug. Uh, generally when we export the maps, the metallic is supposed to have the uh, roughness value inverted in the alpha of it. It currently does not, so until that happens we have to have our own custom metallic roughness export. Uh, it's the same with the uh, albedo opacity right here. We don't have to worry about that because we have no transparency in this one, but uh, albedo is supposed to have the transparency in the alpha channel of that map. Um, it does not currently do that. So one thing to make sure is, is double check that the roughness metallic is in there. Uh, in this one it was not, so it's a good thing we double checked. Now we have our height map here, but obviously the height map doesn't really matter for this skin, so we're going to just choose that to be none and save some uh, some uh, some data later uh, or some uh, RAM later. So now our skin is done and it looks good if we compare it to the skin of the non PBR it already looks much more realistic uh, even though it's it's still the character it looks more realistic. So let's move on. What's the next section in the hair? Uh, let's see we have the plastic material. Uh, what's that? Um, let's just remove it and see what happens. Ah, these are the plastic material up there. So that is, let's look at that. That's his neck thing, his uh, shoulders. All right, so we can do a few things with these. We got some buttons that should probably be metal. Um, and we have a lot of, a couple different plastic types. So let's remove this again so we can get a, a better idea of what we're dealing with. Alright, and let's bring this into... what's this cube right there? Um, that's weird. Alright, uh, so the plastic material uses the same texture, so, so let's bring that back into Photoshop. It's looking like we're dealing with um, uh, these parts over here. It, it's 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 nice that it's diff different materials. We have more options, but at the same time, it sure would be nice if um, if it was easier to see what's what. So for now, we'll bring the plastic back onto the uh, body so we can see the, the the different parts. This is something I want to do. So let's look for these circles and and the neck part right here. 
Uh, it looks like maybe maybe this is the circles. No, right here. Looks like those are our two circles side by side. So let's start making our mask. Now, of course, the first color is going to be black. So we'll just leave that. We'll make this this main black texture uh, is the black. Second one is going to be red. So let's make these uh, metal bits red. All right, I think I got all the metal parts. The only other part we have is, is these white parts, I believe. I think I will, I'll make those a different uh, reflectiveness of the plastic. Uh, maybe make them look uh, shinier than the, uh, than the rest of the plastic. And we'll make those the next color, which is green. Oh, there's the name tag down there. Oops. Yeah, so the name tag is part of it. Uh, and that metal, I forgot the metal bit right there, so. Let's add that. All right, we've got the uh, lines cut out, I believe. And now, lastly, we're only going to use the fourth one. We'll do the visitor badge in a completely different material as well. Shiny plastic, perhaps. So we're going to make this one blue. For the entire background, we'll make that black. Oops. And let's save this mask. Now that we have our Ethan mask plastic, we can actually double check this. Um, we can just create right here a uh, uh, new material, a demo, uh, call it mask check. Uh, and then in this we'll just bring that uh, into our albedo and on our body bring that over and now we can see if we actually got the mask correct and it looks like it looks like we did which is great so let's go back to our body and we're gonna repeat the steps from the first thing we're going to take our um, in under editor things our PBR converter bring that in there um, now our PBR converter already has some some data from uh, from the before. It's the same map, so um, we're gonna have to uh, fix that by. Uh, well, we don't need to change our inputs, but we, we do need to change the mask. So uh, let's load up our mask uh, demo SF Bay and or demo items. I'm gonna move these to our SF Bay section. Okay, so we have our Ethan mask plastic. So we'll load up, uh, I need a bigger screen, that's what I need. Um, we'll run to, uh, editor tools, PBR converter, go to our SFB, uh, SFB items. We're gonna do our mask, Ethan mask plastic, and our color inputs. Should have renamed this, uh, we're gonna rename this right now, do it right. Ethan color ID plastic, there we go. So Ethan color ID plastic. Um, and so now we have our first one is the base. We can see that. Now I do not know what this, uh, what that is. That's a leftover from Unity. Somebody from Unity should check that and because that's annoying to me. Um, maybe a name tag supposed to go there or something. I have no idea. But either way, that is not me. That is all Unity. Uh, all right. So our first material is this black plastic. Uh, it is, uh, we can say it's metallic if we'd like. Uh, and we'll make it a little, but it's not metallic. But, uh, so adjust that to your, to your desire. Uh, now, number two is metal. The, that's these uh, small dots, the, the, all the metal dots. And how reflective they are depends on, again, uh, the roughness value. So we'll bring them down here. And we can already see them reflecting in the in the light. Uh, you do, of course, need a reflection probe um, and something to reflect in order for the reflections to work. Um, next, we'll do the uh, uh, the third one, which is our lines. Let me get closer and see the change here. This might not be a super visible change. Let's make it metallic. Now, this is a unfortunately from the compression and our mask. 
The best is to use, of course, the highest quality mask and no compression. Um, you can clean this up a little bit when you go into your Photoshop color ID by making all these somewhat um, green areas fully green. Uh, I'm not going to do that here because really I don't want to spend the time. Uh, it is a little bit more time, but you can you can do that if these if this is going to be solid green all the way around. I'm not sure if there's an easy way to do that in Photoshop. It probably is. I'm just not aware of it. Um, so we're going to make this not uh, whoops, not metallic, and we're going to make it relatively rough compared to the rest of the material, so that you can kind of see that's more shiny than the black part. Um, we have metal down here as well, and lastly uh, is our name tag, there's the bell buckle, the name tag, uh, it's not metallic, right there, uh, but it is going to be pretty rough because it's made of plastic and we want it to reflect light pretty pretty well. Alright, now I'm going to do a similar thing to the rest of the, uh, the model, I'm not going to talk about it unless a problem comes up, I'm just going to speed through it. Alright everybody, my uh, mouse just ran out of batteries and uh, so I gotta recharge those batteries. I've got a uh, rechargeable AA battery so we have to do that and uh, I really don't like using the trackpad um, for this so I'm gonna cut it off here. I think uh, we've got the skin, plastic, and the entire suit. We did not do the eyes or the hair uh, so those are not yet PBR but the rest are all uh, PBR now you can easily see the difference between the two suits. Uh, the, obviously the one on the right is the PBR one that reflects the light properly um, as we rotate around. Uh, you can of course change the, uh, all the details. One important thing to remember in all of this is that the uh, resolution of the texture map matters that you start with and the compression. Um, if you have a map that's compressed uh, then you're going to get some artifacting going on and and this Ethan map uh, is, is uh, is not you know you can see some issues right here and here where it's not the, the best made map for this um, so there is going to be some small issues by and large you'll have no problem and if you uh, pay attention to the anti-aliasing on the color ID you make then it will be much a cleaner map for you um, and it depends really just on your starting starting material so there you go the difference between the two uh, I'm going to take a quick screenshot of this so that people can see um, the two. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please let us know. Um, hopefully, this tool will help you out. If you don't want to do this and you want uh, uh, right now RPG characters, please check out S, uh, the, our website at uh, infinitypbr.com. We have a lot of stuff um, that's available on the Unity Asset Store. That's all PBR uh, uh, in case you don't want to um, take the time to do this for all of your characters, but you do want them to be PBR. So have a great night, guys.